Learn and play online. Telling the time, half past. Here is the same analog clock that appeared in our other time video, telling the time for kids, o'clock times. If you haven't already seen it, click on the link in the description box below to learn how to read o'clock times on an analog clock. Here are the two hands for our clock face. Remember that the long hand is called the minute hand and the shorter hand is called the hour hand. From our last video, we already know that when the minute hand is pointing to the number 12, we say it is something o'clock. Because when the minute hand is pointing at the number 12, that means that no minutes have passed the hour. We also already know that the number that the hour hand is pointing to will tell us what hour we are in. So what is the time on the clock? It is 2 o'clock. Take notice that the minutes section on the digital clock says zero. This means that zero minutes have passed the hour. Here is a time fact. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So that means when the minute hand does a full rotation around the clock face, 60 minutes has passed and it will take us into the new hour. In this case, it is now three o'clock. Now let's see what happens when the minute hand travels halfway around the clock. Since the minute hand has traveled only halfway around the clock, it is now pointing at the number six. Now we already know that one full rotation of the minute hand is equal to 60 minutes. So that means that half a rotation is equal to 30 minutes because half of 60 minutes is 30 minutes. That's also why when the minute hand is pointing to the six, we say it is half past something because the minute hand only went halfway around the clock. That is also why on the digital clock it says 30 because it indicates 30 minutes has passed the hour. Now let's have a look at where the hour hand is pointing. As you can see, the hour hand is right in between the numbers three and four. This means that it has passed three and has not yet reached the number four. That is why we say it is half past three or 3.30. Let's watch the minute hand do a full rotation from where it is now. So we can see that the minute hand is pointing to the number 6, which means it is half past something. The hour hand is in between the numbers 4 and 5, which means that it has gone past the 4 and has not yet reached the number 5. So the time is half past 4 or 4.30. Now that you have learned how to read half past times, let's practice reading the times on the clock coming up. Half past 10 or 10.30. Half past seven or seven thirty. Half past one or one thirty.
half past eight or eight thirty. Half past eleven or eleven thirty. Half past two or two thirty. Half past five or five thirty. Half past twelve or twelve thirty. Half past nine or nine thirty. Half past six or six thirty. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.